What's up, brothers and sisters, man? It's your boy, Javon Judah. I just want to drop a quick video right fast. You know, I'm just riding along, and um, I was just thinking to myself, you know, that, uh, you know, this um, target individual thing, man, you know, people are always talking about V2K and, you know, all these different weapons and shit. You know, that's, um, I'm going to tell y'all, brothers and sisters, right now, that's a bunch of bullshit. And they ain't looking at it right, man. So y'all, true spiritual ones, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be careful with that. Because um, the devil and the demons, man, they was, you know, they would disguise it as whatever in the fuck. Besides their self. Because this is spiritual warfare and you need to pray a certain way. You know, your prayer has to be directed at the enemy. Now, um... The enemy is able to, you know what I'm saying, use different individuals, you know what I'm saying? Whoever that he can take captive at his will. Let's say of the Bible, you know, and if you're going to go at this thing right here in a physical way and not be spiritual and this, um, forgive me for how dark it is, just how dark it is in the whip, but um, you're going to lose, man. It's going to drive you crazy. Because these are demons. What people call V2K is your ears have been basically, when it happened to me, as far as me getting spiritual ears and spiritual eyes, the ear part, it popped. Like I was going out into the mountain or something, or in a plane take off, and your ears pop to adjust to that altitude that you're going up to, you know, so... It was, some, it was something like that for me. But it's most definitely spiritual. Now you can hear the spiritual realm. You can hear them better communicating with you. And they're going to communicate with you through people. They're going to communicate with you through the TV. Because they're, you know what I'm saying, they, they have that power to be in control of all those things. And God has given you the gift to be able to discern them. So discern them right, man. Stop making this a physical battle. Even though we are living here in the 3D world in the flesh. Let me roll the window up. Even though we live in the 3D world right now in the flesh, everything comes from the spirit first. And y'all have to remember that. You know, if you don't have faith in, in, in the father, if you don't have faith in his son, Yahweh Shah, if you don't have faith in Yahweh, you lost already. Because this was supposed to um, grab you and, and, and train you to be closer to him. Not for you to fall by the wayside, man. You know, um, you can't be going out here thinking you're going to protect yourself. Or, or, that, or that you your sacrifice for your own life is for your own self. No, you were called and chosen for the Father's own will to be done in your life. He allowed this so he can show his might. So he can save you. And y'all got to believe that. You got to have faith. But if you're going out here you, and, and the only thing that you think you're up against is a bunch of people, you're going to lose. Because then that's, they, here come that fear demon on your ass. All, all sorts of abominations and other spirits, man. All those things that the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit didn't already purge from your life. I'm just ranting today. But I hope, you know, all of y'all who, who are true are going to understand because each and every one of us who do this work according to the scriptures and, and, and do God's will, the enemy always watch us. You know, the, the Bible says that the enemy watches the righteous, not the righteous stalks and watches the enemy. So I can give a fuck. How somebody else might view the shit if they don't even understand what the Bible is really saying. You know, people go to church all their life, but God is not in church. He's not. Because these are the same people who are stalking you. Who you else? Who else you thought it was? These same people are the ones that's fucking stalking you, the same ones that call themselves a damn Christian. And they never knew the father. 
And that's why on that day they're going to be saying, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, did not prophesize and do this, that, and the third in your name. And you're going to say, Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. And y'all need to remember that, man. This world loves evil. And because you're not part of it, that's why the world's eyes is on you. Because they want to bring you down to a level where you basically then 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 got to a point where you don't trust in the father no more. Or, or where you start being a little fucking demon and you go back out into the world, man. And you don't want to do that. You don't do that. And if the father really got his hand on you, there's no way you're going to do that anyway because he ain't going to even let you. I know with me, you know, waking up, that, I didn't wake up just because I woke up one day and was like, yo, I'm going to follow God. No, no, no. He chose me. He did that all on his own for his own purpose. For his own purpose. Because if it was the case that any of us could have did better or had a better life, why can't we do more than what we do even now being awake? Why would we have to go through hard times? Period. If you was in control. So I know who in control of my life. He the author and the finisher of my faith. And honestly, I wouldn't go back in the world for shit. I don't miss, I don't miss the old life. And I don't miss it. I don't, I don't miss the people, none of that shit. Because if they was my true friends, they really love me, man. They would be here. They would love me. Regardless. You got people in abusive relationships all damn day long, getting their ass kicked. And they still there. Your damn dog come home. You whoop his ass. So I don't miss nobody who left me. Kicked me when I was down. Whatever. No, I don't. And I love everybody. I don't like the shit that they do. And I'm still learning, yo. Ain't nobody perfect. That's the whole point. Nobody's perfect. But when you give yourself... And, and, and the father pick you and he introduced you to Christ. He ordained you to know him and predestined that for you before you was even born. You can't do it on your own. You can't go to no school and learn that shit. And, you know, I don't care about how people feel about how I cuss or nothing like that, because cursing in the saying cuss words as far as shit and damn and all of that shit ain't got nothing to do with the cursing that the Bible's talking about because cursing in the Bible's talking about is what these gang stalkers and these people who try to stalk your life and try to harm you by lying on you and, and trying to get you caught up in some shit all the time trying to entrap you with some shit that's cursing you so they are doing the exact thing that God said that he hate so my advice to all of you who are going through this, you talking to individuals, man, is just to um, peace, be still, be still. Because it's the father who fight for you. Be still. Be still, man. Have faith and let the father show his might in your life. Trust. Him. Trust your Howard shot. Trust in this heavenly host. Don't never put him and the devil on the same playing field because the devil has to ask him permission. You're living the Job life, baby. You're living the life of King David. King David had many Psalms where he was going through something, but he never gave up. But if you will go and read Psalms, it's about your life. He went through the same thing. So did everybody else in the scriptures whose names or, or the prophets of the father. You know what I'm saying? Have love for the father's right way of doing. Even if you're not perfect. Because you ain't going to be perfect. He's the one that makes you perfect. I love y'all. You know, I, I know it can get hard sometimes, man. But, you know, this is your Persian moment. This is that time where you're in the refiner's fire. Because if you want in the fire, you'll have impurity. So he's trying you like the silver and the gold is that's what he said. And that's all that matter is what he want to do. You know, not everybody goes through this because he ain't choose everybody. 
They can laugh, they can joke, they can do all that, but so did the devil mock. But God won't be mocked, man. The Father won't be mocked. He didn't raise my head up out of the dirt, man. So I love him. And it's because he first loved me. I didn't choose him, he chose me. And he chose y'all. So remember that, man, y'all stay up. Oh.